Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina and today we are doing predictions for you for the month of November. Happy birthday to you, my Scorpio sons. I hope that your season treats you well. I hope that you have a beautiful season and uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Wait, did I say that it's supposed to apply to you? Uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I should have. If I did it, well, there you go. <laughs> um, and also, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest that doesn't. Um, don't try to force a message to work for you. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And yeah, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at simplepluto.com. If you want to follow me on social media, you can do so on Twitter and Instagram at simplepluto. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on for you. Also, if you're interested in what deck I'm using, I'll have it linked down below, but I'm using the True Heart Intuitive Tarot. I love this deck so much. So good. Um such a good deck okay <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and see what's going on for you today <laughs> usually your energy is kind of quiet but let's see damn girl okay okay <laughs> i'm just stop being dramatic okay so we have the eight of cups reversed um the ace of swords reversed we have the hermit card so a lot of alone time we have the high priestess reversed damn okay okay <laughs> what the fuck is going on I feel like you're really paranoid, but I mean, when aren't you? Uh, we have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have the Page of Wands reversed, and then under that is the Two of Swords reversed. Okay, so there's something that you're in denial about. There's something that you are in denial about, honey. Two of Swords reversed, and then under that is Knight of Wands reversed, so it's like misguided or misdirected aggression or frustration interesting and then two of swords is the denial okay what this looks like to me scorpio damn that's crazy that's crazy okay so what it looks like to me is that you might be in denial of something and the truth is very like in your face right um but if you were to accept that truth, then that means that you would have to walk away, that you would have to, you know, let go of this person, this place, this thing, the situation, the circumstance, whatever it might be for you. However, this way, however, this might apply to you, um, you would have to walk away from it and you don't want to do that. It's um, it's almost as though you are grasping for straws, looking for any sort of reason to not make the decision to cut something or someone off again whether this is a job a person a situation whatever the case may be it's not necessarily that you want to give someone the benefit of the doubt because i don't necessarily believe that you are one to give someone the benefit benefit of the doubt i believe that you are someone you know scorpios tend to be pretty skeptical and cynical and um paranoid and i feel like they kind of tend to think the worst of people or of situations but there's something that i feel is very close to your heart where it's like you don't necessarily want to accept it because by accepting it you would have to do the scorpio thing of like transformation or of cutting this person off or whatever it is and so it's almost as though you might be dragging your feet about this or ignoring your intuition, ignoring whatever your intuition is trying to tell you with the high priestess reverse, ignoring whatever signs might be presented to you. And I feel like a lot of this has to do, I feel like a lot of this has to do with the fact that maybe you feel as though that this person or this situation is somehow freeing to you or gives you a sense of liberation. Um, 
and therefore you don't want to let go of it because it's a feeling that you don't normally get with other with uh, with people or with certain situations and so what it kind of looks like it's like you're trying to find a silver lining with those hermit card you're trying to find the silver lining to keep this person this thing this situation to not move a certain place to not change your majors or whatever the case may be right dragging your dragging your feet out or dragging your feet about this whole situation and with the ace of swords not only does this signify you possibly not wanting to cut things off but over complicating matters and again looking for a reason not to follow through with whatever it is that you need to follow through with and with this eight of swords reverse it's almost like you're avoiding liberation or you're avoiding cutting things off if you will and there's a lot of swords here we have the ace we have the eight of swords and then we have the two of swords and there's two eights as well the eight of cups and the eight of swords reverse and they're both of these cards are reversed so this is telling me that this is there's an issue with like history repeating itself or like not wanting to deal with certain consequences or like not well, yeah well, not wanting to deal with the consequences of your actions or the consequences of something not wanting to deal with with like it, it's like karma but reverse so like not wanting to deal with it it feels very judgment moment reverse being in denial of something not wanting to follow through with something like not moving forward and then we have the page of wands reversed here which is showing me that you possibly feel kind of directionless or it's like you're trying to be naive within the situation and you're not necessarily a naive person i feel like you were someone who you were very aware of, of your surroundings and aware of what's going on but it, you, again it's like you want to ignore it because it because whatever information is being presented to you somehow doesn't benefit you and so it's almost like it's easier to be in denial and it's, it benefits you more to be in denial than to actually admit it it's it, it's more gratifying that way is what this is showing me and so if that's the case then this is then this spread is basically saying that something this cannot be ignored forever especially during your season um you can't be in denial forever <laughs> you're gonna have to reap what you, what you sow eventually you're gonna have to deal with the consequences of your act actions eventually you're gonna have to face something eventually you're gonna have to cut things off eventually and it kind of feels like the longer that you go on in denial or the longer that you go on um basically dragging things out the more painful it's likely going to be once things actually have to be final and cut off completely um yeah i don't know what to tell you bro <laughs> and so if you find yourself in this situation basically trying to find the silver lining you know maybe it's important for you to take a step back and ask yourself why am i trying to make excuses for this person or the situation what sort of what is finding this summer the silver lining going to do for me what is it going to do for me how is it going to benefit me to find the silver lining is it in my higher good is it for my higher good to or is it ultimately good for me to find this silver lining that i'm basically scavenging for and that sort of thing um and how long are you going to wait until you realize that it's just not worth waiting anymore that sort of thing whether again it's a relationship whether it's like leaving a relationship or changing jobs or asking for something or whatever the case may be is it ultimately worth it to drag things out and ultimately kind of just like hurt your own feelings because it's almost like you knew you know that it's coming you know that an, some sort of ending is coming but you want to ignore it you want to ignore the sides possibly because it just feels really good because it feels really gratifying because it's pleasurable because it gives you a sense of satisfaction um and that's fine you know i mean at the end of the day do what you want to do if you value that pleasure and if you want to milk the fuck out of it until you know things are over then absolutely go for it but if you don't want to face that pain and if you don't want to basically make things worse for yourself then perhaps it's worth considering taking a different approach to whatever situation this might be for you you know what i'm saying um yeah and and it kind of feels like the answer isn't that complicated whatever answer you're looking for it's not that complicated and you probably already know the answer but humans tend to overcomplicate things because we can never make things easy for ourselves. So, yeah, that's what I have for you.
It also kind of feels like, really quick, I'm so sorry, I keep on going on a rant, but it also kind of feels like you don't want to walk away from this person, place, thing, situation because it gives you a sense of purpose or it gives you a sense of direction, right? And the page of Wands reversed here is showing me that there is a sense of, of directionlessness with you. Um, there is a sense of possibly being lost and not really knowing what to pursue. And so it's almost like you're holding on to whatever is comfortable to you because it's what's familiar. And it, it's like, at, at least it's something. It's better than just like being lost or wandering around. At least you're sticking to what you know. Um, and it could also be that some of you are resisting making some sort of change or following through with some sort of change. Maybe it's like applying for a job or applying to school. Maybe some of you have really been procrastinating on that or maybe you have been procrastinating on taking on a new hobby or procrastinating on just basically putting yourself out there, um, right? Because there's that sense of being lost or directionless or not even knowing where to start. But the thing is, is like you have to start somewhere. It doesn't matter where you start, but just do something instead of just sticking to to, to this shit because it ultimately yourself you're sabotaging yourself by kind of ignoring it and, and dragging it out and pushing it away and pushing it away because eventually that's going to start accumulating and you're going to have to deal with the consequences of that so yeah that's basically what that is um so yeah get the, the get your shit together i guess i don't fucking know <laughs> Um, so yeah, I hope that helps in some way, Scorpio. I hope that you were able to get something out of this. Um, you, yeah. <laughs> um, with that being said, I'll talk to you later. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if you I already said that in the beginning, I think, never mind. Bye. <laughs>